Okay guys, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about no audio output device install. So step by step guides, so a number of solutions I'll be guiding you in this tutorial. One of those either solutions will definitely help you. The very first thing that you're going to check is your output device, no audio output device installed. So you don't have any audio output device, any device installed in your PC from where the audio will come as an output that you can listen. So very first thing, you're going to check your output device. So if it is any external device, you're going to headphones or whatever, make sure your jack is inserted properly. Whether it is a jack one or USB one, whether you are doing this in your laptop or the desktop, make sure it is installed properly. You're going to remove the jack and install it again. Next thing that you're going to check is, you put it in a different port and check. Okay, so maybe it is not working in this port and in another port it might work for you. So you're gonna check it in a different port. The next thing is uh, what you're gonna do is uh, after doing this, uh, make sure you don't have any kinds of manufacturing defect. You check your device uh, in uh, some other friends or the family laptop, whether it's working in their laptop or a desktop or not. Problem is uh, with the device or problem problem is with your desktop or the laptops. So you're going to check it in a different device and see if it is working or not in other device. So all these were the very first thing that you're going to check with your device. So the next things that you can try is you can hold the Windows key and press R key in your keyboard. As soon as you hold the Windows key and press R key, you're going to see this box. Here you have services.mse, S-E-R-V-I-C-E-S, services.mse. Click on OK after typing. This will come up with this window. Since the, everything is arranged in alphabetical order, you're going to come down to W. And here must be the Windows Audio. Here's the Windows Audio. So you can see, so mine is uh, right away. It's a Windows Audio. So everything is perfect over here for mine. It's running automatic and local service. So uh, you can make noise. See this. So here in this uh, Windows Audio, uh, what you're going to do is give a right click on it and go to Properties. In a properties, make sure it is selected automatic. If some other option is selected, you're going to choose automatics and click on apply and OK. Sometimes you're going to stop the service and start it again, or you can restart the service. This also helps sometimes. So all these things you could do over here. The next step you could follow is, you can see here you have uh, audio symbols. In whatever condition it is, whether it is in a cross conditions or some yellow sign over here, it's working, not working, it's not a problem. Give a right click on it. And here you have uh, sound settings. So in a sound settings, you have lots of options over here. So come down a little bit. And you can see here you have advanced. In advanced, troubleshoot common sound problems. You have a problem with the output device. So uh, the problem is like no audio output device installed. Click on output device and it carry you to the number of steps. So one by one, you're going to try different steps. Let me show you. So it is searching for some help articles. Now here is, uh, if, uh, you're going to follow this, uh, read it and follow. If it helps you, cl uh, click on yes, otherwise no. See, you're going to follow this step. Make sure it help you. If you don't help, click on no. Make sure these steps help you. If it do not help you, click on no. Let's say if these steps help you, click on yes. So in this way, you can follow the different steps over here uh, that will help you with the different uh, audio problems. Uh, so no audio output device. Uh, following those steps, one by the steps might help you. So other things that you can try is here you have uh, Just below that, all sound device. Click on it. So problem is with output device. No audio output device installed. So here is the output device. Click on it. So make sure it is uh, allowed. Allow the apps and the windows to use this device for audio. So if it is not allowed, so you're gonna allow it. Make sure it is allowed. The next step is, here you can see, uh, you have a number of options over here. You're going to choose the different option, which options works for you. 
one by one, you're going to change different options. After changing each option, you're going to test it. Choose the possible uh, best value, uh, highest value, and test it. And if the highest value doesn't work you, you're going to go with the other options that really works for you. So the change is, and which one is works for you, you're going to keep that. Next is, uh, this audio enhancement, it needs to be device default. If it is off, you're going to choose to change it to device defaults. So all these were the different steps you could try over here for no audio output device installed. Next thing is, here's this PC. You want to click on it, and then you're going to click on uh, Manage. You don't have a Manage over here. Click on Show More Options, and here's the Manage. Click on Manage. So it will come up with this window. So when you click on Manage, uh, let me make it a bit smaller. So manage. Click on Device Manager. And you're going to check for uh, audio device. So no audio output device installs. So here you can see, these are a couple of my output device. So no audio output device installed here already. So a couple of my uh, so wireless output device. So you're going to select it and you're going to update the drivers. Click on scan for that, which is so close. You right click on it. Even you can click on uh, disable and enable it again. You're going to click on uninstall. You can uninstall the driver and I restart your computer. So when you restart, it will automatically install the driver again. So you don't have to worry about that. If you have uh, any checkbox uh, where it says that you want to de delete the software from this computer, so uncheck that box. I do not have any checkbox over here. So if you have any checkbox, uh, you just uh, say that uh, you do not want to, you uncheck that box, uh, you do not want to install and uh, delete the software. Otherwise, you have to manually install the software downloading from the internet. So uninstall and restart your computer, it will automatically install the software. Next thing is this, uh, you give a right click and you can scan for the hardware chains. This also helps sometimes. Uh, and go to properties if it still do not work. Give a right click here and click on properties. So when you click on uh, properties, uh, what it does is, it's a right click, it's a properties. And I don't know why it is happening like that. Oh, here it is. So properties. You're going to do a driver and rollback driver. See, previously, if your audio output device was uh, working fine and recent driver has caused the problem, so you're going to roll back the drivers and go to the previous one. So all these were the possible best uh, options that you could try for no audio output device installed. Okay. So if this tutorial really help you, you can follow this uh, tutorial and share this video with your friends and family and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and comment. I'll catch you in the next tutorial with another greatest stuff.